Good evening, people. Hope you're all doing well. All right. I keep seeing a lot of polls online. People listing their their top ten favourite fighters. So I thought I'd do a video um, saying my top ten favourite fighters. Now these. This list of 10, it took me ages to condense it because there are so many fighters I enjoy watching. Um, this, 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 this list is literally the top, top 10 fighters I enjoy watching. Now, this doesn't make, mean I think they're the greatest of all time. Yeah, these are fights that if I'm working out or if I'm bored, I'll just shove a fight on. And these, yeah, these are the guys I like to watch regularly. So... We'll start with number 10, Manny Pacquiao. Never a dull moment with Pacquiao. His trilogy with, with Morales, his, his four fights with um, Marquez, his fights with Barrera. You know, just absolutely a whirlwind of, of punches. Absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> and number nine, Miguel Cotto. Again, especially in his early, you know, his early career, like junior welterweight and welterweight, he was a fantastic fighter and I really enjoyed watching his career number 8 now it took me a while to put all this in order I mean these are probably out of order really but Iron Mike Tyson you know what's there not to like especially in his prime you know he was just a, a knockout machine he was dangerous he was vicious Those, the hand speed and the power it was absolutely amazing so Mike Tyson. Next got Lennox Lewis again. I can sit and watch any any Lennox Lewis fight, even when he got old and out of shape at the end against Klitschko. It was just a very fascinating fight. Um, again, you know, knockout. But it was it's, especially probably for after his first title reign. Those fights when he regained the title. Unfortunately, that that bizarre fight against McCall. But those. Uh, you know, from then on, you know, they're the Holyfield fights. I just enjoyed watching him, and I grew up watching the man. So, number six, Fernando Vargas. One of my guilty pleasures as a fight fan. You know, he was in some real barn burners. I mean, okay, he he didn't really beat the elite. You know, obviously, De La Hoya, Mosley, and uh, Bar um, Trinidad beat him. But he was always in entertaining fights, and he always gave it his all. I know there's, you know, he's got a black mark against him because of the uh, the steroids when he was caught doing or, or whatever PED he was taking in 2002. But you know, he was just exciting. I mean, the, you know, the youngest youngest Olympian at the time, I think, for the US. He was only 17, 16, 17 years old. In '96, and yeah, you know, he he was very entertaining. I enjoyed, yeah. You know, if I again, he's one of those quite regularly. I'll just show Vargas for his fight with Corte. You know, even if his fight with uh, Winky Wright, that a little bit controversial, but it was entertaining. So, uh, what have we got next? Of course, Arturo Thundergatti. You know, one of the, the real blood and guts warriors. I've always enjoyed watching his fights. Um, yeah, the trilogy with Ward. You know, even fights where he got bashed up, you know, they're entertaining. Yes, yes, bloodthirsty and as horrible as that sounds. But even when he was getting wiped out by De La Hoya or even Mayweather, I mean, the guy could take punishment. And uh, it wasn't always easy to watch. Don't get me wrong, especially when he his last fight against uh, Alfonso Gomez, when he wasn't, he didn't have it anymore. But there was always that you're watching. Oh, you know, that chance that he could, you know, he could land that one punch to turn the fight around. So. Yeah, gay. Number four, way back in time, well before I, my, I was born, Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano is one of my guilty pleasures. I quite often, I had a DV, uh, it was a VHS when I was a kid. Marciano's sort of career highlights. Yeah, you know, what a warrior! I mean, he he wasn't particularly skillful. He had bad footwork. His defense was pretty much non-existent. But he had a punch power. He had courage, and he had heart, and he had a chin. So, Marciano is he's a, a guilty pleasure of mine. Number three, Felix Trinidad. I can watch 
Felix Trinidad all day, any of his fights, <coughs> apart from at the end, you know, the Jones Jr. and uh, Winky Wright fights, he wasn't the same. He was totally outclassed. And, yeah, he wasn't what he was. But, you know, even the, um, and the De La Hoya fight, I mean, that was, you know, it's debatable. I had that a draw when I first saw it and I scored it as a 16-year-old. Uh, I had a draw. De La Hoya threw the fight away. But anyway, that's another story. But Trinidad, you know, a lot of people, you know, they talk about his left hook and it was fantastic. But I, he had a fucking good right, right hand as well, straight right hand. And his uppercuts were phenomenal. You know, his fights against Mayorga, um, William Joppy, David Reed, Vargas, fucking fantastic fighters. Number two, Marvellous Marvin Hagler. I love Hagler. Um, you know, I can watch, you know, from, you know, when he beat Minter for the title, he would not be denied that night. And I can watch his career fights over and over again. I, I never get fed up with watching them. And number one of my favourite fighters to watch, Roberto Duran. Absolutely love Roberto Duran. He is uh, an absolute legend. And as you know, he is probably one of my favourite fighters. Well, he is my favourite fighter of all time. Uh, especially, you know, in his lightweight days and early welterweight days. He, he was phenomenal to watch. Speed, boxing... Yeah, he could brawl and he could box, and he had decent power as well. Um, yeah, he, he fantastic. So, yeah, that's they're my top. I mean, it, it was hard condensing it to ten, and I've got a couple of honourable mentions that nearly made it onto the list. I was debatable. Tommy Morrison, another guilty pleasure, pleasure of mine. You know, he wasn't the best. Um, the people, his quality of opposition was questionable. And usually he got wiped out when he stepped up. I mean, I think his most impressive victories were George Foreman, which looked better in hindsight because obviously Foreman went on the following year to regain the heavyweight title, the oldest heavyweight in history to win the title, and uh, Razor Ruddock. But apart from that, I mean, he got wiped out by um, Ray Mercer, and obviously Lennox Lewis took him to pieces, and then unfortunately HIV got him. Julio Cesar Chavez was a he nearly made it onto the list. Again, I can I can watch most Chavez's fights. He he was uh, pretty special. I know a lot of people shit on him now, in hindsight now that obviously Canelo's the top man in Mexico and in fifty years time Alvarez will be probably talked of as the greatest Mexican fighter, just purely for achievement and, and titles and things like that. Be a Chavez, I can watch any most Chavez fights. Yeah, it was definitely a, an event when he fought. And Evander Holyfield, he nearly made it into my top ten. Uh, again, all the way from cruiserweight, even later on in his heavyweight career, when he was well past it, he was still. He wanted to watch him. He wanted to see if he could do it. You know, after the the Mike Tyson fight, the foot well when he beat Tyson the first time. I I didn't actually bother. I regretted it. I was 13 and my mum had bought the, ordered the pay-per-view and I thought Tyson was going to wipe him out. So I said to me, mum, oh, I'm not going to bother getting up at three o'clock in the morning, I'm going to stay in bed. I remember my mum saying, you sure? You, know, you might want to work now, nah, watch it tomorrow. Of course I got up and my mum was like, oh you missed a classic Joe, it was fantastic. Of course, yeah, I saw it the next morning, but it wasn't, yeah, I wish I'd been awake to see it live. Um, you yeah, know, when he beat Tyson and no one thought he'd do it. So yeah, that's my top ten and a couple of uh, honourable mentions, favourite fighters to watch. Uh, what, you know, what are your, who are your favourite fighters to watch? You know, I, you know, if you want to tell, share with me, stick it in the, in the comments. I always like interacting with people on Instagram or on here. You know, Boxing is my love and my passion and I like talking to like-minded people. So, yeah, whatever, you know, there's no right or wrong answers. It's a, it's a personal opinion. 
I will be doing other videos about my favourite fights, things like that. So, yeah. Right, that's enough out of me. I've taken up for your time. Thanks ever so much for listening. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope to hear from you. Take it easy, people.